So hey guys, uh, my brother isn't here today, so I'll be working on the Nissan. Um, we haven't worked on it for a while. So what I'm gonna be doing is cleaning up the intake and the exhaust, be uh, sorry, and the spark plug holes because it's been sitting here for a while. It did have a cover on it. And then I'm gonna, probably gonna put the fuel rails, uh, fuel rails up and um, wire them up with the um, supplied pigtails. Well, they weren't supplied. Um, these are the Subaru 550cc uh, yellow top injectors um, and so I have to get the Subaru connectors and after that yeah I'll probably just be putting on the fuel, in, fuel rails and stuff. So what I'm going to be doing right now is um, cleaning up the hole for the injectors. I bought new insulators um, and then I'm going to be putting back the fuel rail and then I'll splice in the new pigtails, uh, the Subaru ones because I have the 550cc yellow tops. So I'm gonna be putting in the new um, fuel uh, fuel injector insulators. Um, I've lubed them up with WD-40. I'm just gonna place them. I don't think there is an orientation they go in. They're both they're same um, both ways, so shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the fuel rail and um, line it up and truck it down. So before I put the um, fuel rail on the car I wanted to man quickly mention that there is a ground strap that attaches somewhere over here. Um, here's the ground strap. Um, so it goes from here, uh, it bolts onto here or screws onto here and then um, bolts onto the um, balance tube I believe or the fuel uh, or the fuel dampener. Um, and also there are small little um, grommets, I think they're called um, the insulators, I believe. These things, they basically space out the, uh, the fuel rail from the plenum. So for the grommets, um, these things right here, um, they go in, so there are two pieces, so, and they go in like this. Um, once it's on top, Wait, let me show you guys right here. Like this, and then the other one goes from the top so that it doesn't back out. And so you go do this on, so there should be 12 of these, and they go on all six holes. And then you place in the fuel rail and just bolt it down. So this is what it looks like after you've done um, all six cylinders. So one the sandwich the fuel rail itself So I've attached the fuel rail, um, so there's no torque specs for the bolts, um, so I just snug them down. And now, uh, don't forget to put the um, fuel uh, temperature sensor that's here, and the ground strap that I mentioned, which connects to the upper plenum. So while I was here, I thought I'd show you guys how to do the um, coolant line delete on the NA. So what you do is, um, if you can see this, I don't know. So this hose, you loop it to this port right here. Um, and then on this side, you can see that the heater core, um, that's a heater core hose. And so it goes from here and follows 
followed and goes to somewhere over here. Um, there's another port right here, so that goes all the way from here and then here to here. So this, these two, and this, and this. So now what I'll be doing is um, splicing up all the pigtails for the injectors and putting in the new ones, uh, the Subaru ones, um, to work with these um, yellow top 550cc injectors. Uh, I'm actually sitting inside the inside uh, on the place of radiator so that I don't have a backache when I do this. Hi. Right, so um, what I did was just laid out the harness for the um, plenum and. Um, there should be six of, I don't know if you can see it properly, but six of these connectors and just lay them out and um, I'm cutting off the insulation first and then I just cut off the ends of the connectors. Uh, here, here's one of the ends. Um, um, so injectors are basically coils so they don't have a polarity so you can wire them up however you want to but uh, what I'm gonna do is since there are two wires one is a thin yellow wire and one is a yellow and black wire what I'm gonna do is the thin wire goes to the red and the yellow black goes to the black and I'm gonna follow this for all six injectors So I have to file down the small, um, wait let me show you guys, um, I don't know if you can see it but it's not focusing. So the points, uh, if, if you can see right here, I had to file these down so that it would fit the connectors since the connect themselves don't have um, the have the points on the other side these are called denso plugs um, I couldn't find like for some reason I was putting it this way and it was kind of spongy and so what I did was I took out the multimeter and um, did a resistance test and it should be 11 ohms um, and I was getting zero and I checked uh, the all the injectors like directly probing them to that and I was getting 11 ohms so I knew there was a problem and then I, f I read it like a couple of months ago on the forum that you have to file down um, the small um, clips on the side of the injectors for the yellow tops uh, 550cc super injectors uh, for the denso plugs to fit in um, I don't know what actual connectors these use but um, these are the only ones I could find that's why I bought them so I had to file it down and now I'm getting 11 ohms on the connector on the end of the connectors themselves and they every time I put this in it makes a clicking noise so that's that's good so this is what it looks like after it's all done I've heat chunked them and um, checked all the injectors they should be at 11 ohms for this particular injectors and then I checked in between the points uh, of connection after I soldered them um, and there are 11 ohms 
so it should work out fine also they click into place with, with ease and um, wait, let me show you guys All right, so that was a pretty long video. Um, on the next one, we will be installing the plenum and have the car running. Um, so thank you very much for watching and uh, we will see you on the next one.